uh, talking over some War Thunder gameplay um, a couple weeks ago in a Russian uh, tier 2, tier 2.3 yak, excuse me, lag. Um, I forget which is specific number, um, but we are in a quote unquote top tier uh, in this. As we see, uh, I, uh, I skip a couple seconds into it to avoid something like that initial flying, but identify our first target. Diving on a chap with J11, just using this the uh, Russian Russian planes in general, the World War II air fighters at least, but it's very devastating uh, cannon machine gun pair. Uh, climbing, you know, to, it's not like the, the lags like a German BF 109 like energy fighter. It's just like altitude super crucial, but still always good to to climb to get use some of that excess speed to so get altitude. And there we take out a uh, American. F2A, I could have, so again, just identify targets, you know, wanting to use, maximize my firepower, knowing that you do have reload times and whatnot, knowing that this is ground forces, so you want to be, you know, stopping planes from breaking through your lines. This um, a TBD American dive bomber is doing a good job of um, being evasive, and he, uh, he gets a clear attack run on the, our ground, uh, the ground forces. As you can see, the, uh, some ground forces taken away. On that so move on TBD. This is ground forces, so I'm trying to be a relatively team player. Um, see, there's a TBD I was pursuing there, on the right. Uh, there's a y y yak on uh, the left, and so kind of a can't target both. I know that the I see that the, the TBD is getting it's engaged by two of my allies, so I figured I'll go for the yak. Uh, now the yak is a a, a chat like. Uh, I do have a yak myself in, in my uh, current Russian roster. It does carry a nasty, uh, very nasty uh, cannon combo, just as like I do currently. Uh, and so, however, he's focused on attacking ground forces, so he is not focused on me, um, which is good. As you see, I didn't like melt him. It did take him a week. He, get, he gets the pass off of Ed. Uh, he gets to destroy some armored cars. But again, running out of ammunition. So I only have 40 rounds and not enough to get it. But again, using some of the excess speed to uh, get myself in position, knowing that my real time for my machine guns at the very least is relatively quick. It's a maintain that I am in position. Another uh, American dive bomber is going to get into for the bombing run, but you know I see that the Yak is is a disengaging and trying to get out of the, the area. So a teammate can take care of that TBD, I should take care of this Yak, who's also uh, clearly crippled, as seen by that engine trail. Engaging with a full new magazine, just continuously sticking with it, and getting the good engagement. Here is a bit of a pickle, because there's like three enemy planes, that are three kilometers away. Um, if I went up against them, now I'm on Yak, I could definitely take one of them out, on say a, a frontal uh, a frontal assault, a frontal like uh, gunfight. I could definitely take one, but... The, the, the lag isn't the uh, most maneuverable. It's not like a Japanese zero. Um, so that getting into a prolonged engagement would be. So I'm just seeing. I do know that I have a full lineup of planes behind me. So I'm not scared of that because I don't want to get myself in a good spot. There's a B 17. No front weaponry to speak of. Just a small machine gun. Take it out quickly. Uh, again, just devastating firepower. I have. I do take some engine damage. Whereas for the fuel leak, I see a teammate coming in. Some teammates coming in. So I just want to. You know, back around, not the most energy efficient maneuver, but just give my allies some time and space to get in position. Here's a Heinkel who's pursuing our MiG. Uh, of course, we want to help our team out. Uh, the MiG, it's, the Heinkel has a nasty gun, but here I am. Yeah, as you see from Vista, you know, Heinkel is just exposing his cockpit to us. He's a P40, a P400. Destroy him, but my engine gets taken out. I definitely would have, uh, like these two, I, I could have definitely, of a uh, Maybe not the first to buy plane, but I could have definitely melted the second one if not for my engine capacity being down. So I'm just floating in air. I'm just trying to be cognizant if I can if a plane flies in front of me to get some shots off, but you can't do that when uh, you get rammed. Which, uh, fair enough, since you know, a fully healthy plane versus my uh, uh, crippled plane, a fair deal. Uh, and again, surveying, surveying targets. There is. Uh, Using because well, your first engagement when you lose altitude or you pick to go up against is kind of a, a really big uh, 
target or extremely overweighted factor in how like your specific plane's run is going to go. The high goal is close. It seems that if I dive on him, I can dive on some uh, other planes. So I'm going in to help out uh, a fellow Yak. B36 is not engaging me. I get the. I was shooting a bit too high, but I did have to jump on him, so I should have. You know, if I could melt a B17, I should have been able to destroy a B36. A P shooter. But again, yeah, just sticking with it. Just being where this is a bit more of a dogfight. Uh, in this context, where a couple P36s, again, a couple teammates in my area, but uh, not the most. Just there's like two or three planes directly focused on me, so just trying to, you know, not give them the easiest of angles to get to me. My engine is knocked out, so once again, just trying to be aware and hoping if I can bait any of them into diving in front of me. Not sure if we're gonna have any luck this time, but uh, that one you know, fell off in front. It's just trying to hug the ground, but it didn't work out. Good thing is though, right, since uh, that was close to my spawn, I could be able to jump in. I see here in a yak and uh, get the jump on them and get some, uh, get some revenge, as we can see right there. And that's what, what I'm planning on doing. Again, there's five planes derping around there. As we see there, uh, four of our guys are heading into. So we're just gonna go, you know, and the, we're, we're gonna win the match, so I may as well, uh, you know, test out some uh, aerial dogfighting. As we see here, I know that I can get, when I get in range of any of them, I will be in range of multiple. So I just wanna take advantage of the little window, but can't, can't melt it, so, but. Right, good, good fun run in uh, Russian Yak. Yeah.